Shamima Begin wants to come back. Of course she does. After running away with her mates to Syria in 2015 at just 15 to join ISIL, a Marian ISIS fighter where it was reported she sewed on suicide vests and actually said that she wasn't bothered or phased by watching the headings, Shamima Begin wants to come back to the UK, which is no longer her home, by the way, because of her citizenship, which has been revoked. Although we are still paying for her legal appeals. She's apparently received nearly £250,000 of legal aid since 2021. She gave birth to three kids, all of whom died in curious circumstances. Now the war is lost and she is in a camp in Syria. She's realised she's better off in the UK. I could have told her that before she left. The other day, Shamima lost her court appeal to challenge against removal of her British citizenship. For these reasons, we unanimously dismiss the appeal. It could be argued that the decision in Miss Begum's case was harsh. It could also be argued that Miss Begum is the author of her own misfortune. But it is not for this court to agree or disagree with either point of view. Our only task is to assess whether the deprivation decision was unlawful. We have concluded it was not, and the appeal is dismissed. So all three judges unanimously ruled that it was lawful on national security grounds. Some people argue that it was unfair, that her citizenship was revoked, and that it's a two-tier system. So if you have dual heritage, you can be sent back to another country. But if you don't, you get to stay here because you can't make someone stateless. Easy solution. Don't leave the UK to join an anti-the-West death cult. People are saying that because she's got darker skin, she's being judged more harshly because apparently black girls are seen as more mature. But she's not black, is she? And I'm not sure this applies to lighter-skinned brown women. In any case, the race card doesn't work here because the Home Secretary at the time... Priti Patel, as well as the subsequent Home Secretary, Savid Javid, who actually took away her citizenship, as well as Suella Breverman. Notice anything here? They're pretty much the same colour as Shamima. You can't blame this on white people. The only person responsible for her demise is Shamima herself. If you've committed heinous crimes elsewhere, that that country has the right to try you there. And I suspect the authorities in Syria probably want to make sure that she gets punished properly. They've seen the weak, soft-touch justice system here. And as for the notion that she was groomed, well, maybe at the start you could argue this could have been partially the case, but her planning was pretty calculated and subsequent interviews showing her lacking of any remorse or empathy make this difficult to accept. Anyway... Her citizenship was stripped in 2019, four years later. She was an adult then and is now a grown woman at 24. And she only wanted to come back when ISIL fell. Her lawyer said that they will keep fighting and will appeal to the Supreme Court. And if they fail there, then they'll try the ECHR. Well, she's no longer a citizen, so she should fund that herself. The British people need to be protected now more than ever, especially from high-risk individuals who have exposed their hand. With pro-Palestinian protests and anti-Semitic messages being allowed in our capital, MPs being hounded outside their surgeries and homes, and what with that Parliament changing procedure for fear of any comeback, we should not be subjected to having to pay for or deal with someone who abandoned the UK and if reports are to be believed was complicit in acts of terror. I say good riddance to bad rubbish.